Okay, so this is going to be an office hours video. Uh, I have a student in here that's asked a question that's come up a few times, so I want to make sure I send it out uh, to my students. And this question is on one of the homeworks, and it talks about the difference between marginal cost and marginal benefit. Uh, what a lot of students end up doing is they mix up the benefit with profit. So in this question, there's someone who's doing, um, they're doing shrubbery work, they're doing lawn care, and they have two different packages that they can offer. They have a standard package. Right, they have a standard package. And it costs them a certain amount to do this standard package. And what was that cost? The cost was uh, $15 and he charges 25. So the cost was $15 and he charges uh, 10 or 25 and he charges 25. But then there's a premium package, right? So there's a premium package where he'll also do some other stuff. Uh, it adds $10 to the total cost and he'll be able to charge 40. So I like to say there's a premium package. And this premium package is going to cost him an extra $10, meaning that the cost is gonna be 25, and that he's able to charge 40. So I just like to put the information in a more readable thing um, than online. So that's what we have there. Mm -hmm. And the question, and this question is asking, what's the marginal benefit of the standard cost? So as a review, uh, as a review, marginal benefit and marginal cost, the word marginal just means additional. So going from the previous option. So in this case, the previous option over here is zero, right? There's, there's no service, right? That would be the previous option, which would be zero dollars and zero dollars. So if I wanted to talk about the marginal cost for uh, this service and by cost we're looking at it from the uh, uh, from the person who's doing it not the person who's buying it uh, so if I want to look at the marginal cost so the marginal cost it's going from 0 to 15 is going to be $15 does that make sense okay. the marginal cost of the premium is going from 15 to 10 that's where in the question it says the has an additional ten dollars. Okay. That part most students get. I've even asked this question a few times on exams and on quizzes. The problem now comes is a lot of people look here and they say, oh if this costs him fifteen dollars and he's able to charge twenty five, he's gonna have a profit of ten dollars, which is true. But profit and benefit aren't the same thing. That's the toughest part. When we're talking about the marginal benefit when we're talking about benefit, we're only looking at the money that's coming in. So every decision we make, there are costs and there are benefits, then we compare those two, and when we compare them by saying we take our benefits minus our costs, that's when we're gonna get the profit. And a lot of students mix up profit and benefit. Because sometimes profits can be negative, but there's still a positive benefit of that activity. Like, let's say he could only charge $10 here. The benefit would only be $10, the cost would be 15, so they wouldn't do that activity. So in this case, the marginal benefit going from zero to being able to charge 25 is going to be $25. Here, the marginal benefit, being able to charge 25, now with the premium package, he can charge 40, the marginal benefit's $15. So the key thing to understand is every decision, there's going to be a cost, there's going to be a benefit, there's also going to be a profit, which is going to be my benefit minus my cost. But profit and benefit are the same thing. So every decision has a positive, every decision has a negative, and then we weigh those to see if we should make that. Does that make sense? Yes. Perfect.